What is good, y'all? You do what I'm saying. Welcome back to yet again another episode of J.I. Productions. It's your boy J.I. And I'm back at it again with another banger for y'all. Now, my camera is tripping again. <sighs> it's time for me to get a new camera, bro. I'm going to be honest with y'all. It's been time for a minute. Um, i just been pushing it. After I get back from Dallas, I'm just going to go ahead and pull the trigger and buy a new camera. But with all that being said, man, you guys see the title, you see the thumbnail. Let's go ahead and roll that intro and get straight into this video. Let me know what you guys think about the new intro in the comment section down below. Give this video a big thumbs up. Let's get it, man. Alright y'all, you know what I'm saying? So I know I got on this friend's uh, clothes right here, but I'm gonna go ahead and shame this plug one time. Uh, the brand, official underscore BYL dot shop. You dig know what I'm saying on Instagram. Y'all make sure y'all go tap in. I put some of the designs on the screen right here. Y'all make sure y'all go ahead and go tap in. Also, if you guys are familiar with the reaction channel, J.I. Reacts, you guys know this setting right here is what I usually use for the reaction videos. But we are on the main channel, the Jab Productions channel, and today we got an unboxing. Today's package is from Euro Tuning. Um, as you guys know, Mamba is on bags. Um, I'll go ahead and post a picture of the trunk set up on the screen. Um, and right now, he's running a single compressor setup. Now, with that being said, it's a lot of stress on the compressor um, because the car, my ride height is, it's conservative, but it's also kind of low. So I use my compressor a lot as far as airing up so that I can clear with that front splitter, the carbon fiber Z28 front splitter. You think I'm saying if you guys haven't seen the reveal, I'll go ahead and put a card up. Make sure you guys go tap in. Let me know what you guys are thinking of phase one of Mamba. I think it looks insane. You feel me? But with that being said, man, since there's so much strain on that one compressor, since I got a single compressor set up, I went ahead and I bought another compressor from Airlift. Um, same one as the one that I currently have on the car. Um, I'm not 100% sure of the specs and whatnot, but um, I went ahead and bought another one. And with that being said, now that I have two, in order to run two compressors, you need to have two separate wiring harness is for the compressor. So with that being said, uh, went ahead and got the second wiring harness for the compressor. Um, the box has like all the little packing peanuts. Um, a receipt, there's a sticker in here, a card in here. 
$100, so I'm straight. Um, some more packing peanuts, and that's it. So with that being said, get that box out of the way. This is the box right here. Um, I'll probably be doing this install sometimes this weekend, actually, because, not this weekend, sometimes this week. Um, because, like I told you guys in yesterday's upload, if you haven't seen that video, again, I'll put a card up and I'll tag it at the end of this video. Um, I will be in Dallas for the big uh, demonology uh, YouTube call out, YouTube showdown, whatever you want to call it, out there in Ennis, Texas. If you guys want to pull up and check out Mamba in person, definitely pull up. I will be there. I will be getting there a little late because I do have work that Saturday morning. Um, but as soon as I get off work, me, my girl, uh, Venom Vet Less, his girl, we're all hopping in the whips and we're headed straight there. So we will be there. Parking VIP, we already got our tickets. This is the main harness right here with the uh, with the relay. Um, so that's the main joint. And then this right here, some zip ties, the fuse, and um, a couple of wires that are gonna go straight to the battery to give the compressor power. And then we have the manual for the wiring harness right here. Nothing crazy, as you guys know, man, you feel me? It's literally plug and play. We're gonna go ahead and knock this out. Uh, very, very simple, so that video will be coming very soon. If you guys wanna learn how to do it for your setup, if you guys are running bags, think about going bags, whatever the case may be, you dig what I'm saying? You'll definitely need to know this eventually, so I will be dropping that video very soon. Make sure you turn on those post notifications, man. Um, I'm not gonna sit here and ramble too much, bro. Tomorrow I'm going to Matt's shop to go see about getting the transmission tuned, fixed. Um, I'll have a more in-depth video coming about that situation uh, in the future. So make sure you turn on your post notifications. I'm not gonna speak on it too much right now just because the situation is still pending, I guess you could say. It's not fully resolved yet. Um, so I want to go ahead and see how everything plays out and unfolds before I speak on the, uh, the situation at hand. Um, with that being said, man, I got a little slideshow, I guess you could say, that I'm going to go ahead and run at the end of the video. Just a couple pictures I took of Mamba after I washed them. I had like a little late night photo shoot, nothing crazy. So I'll go ahead and plug that into this video. Oh, also, also I wanna show this to you guys because I need y'all to drop a comment in the comment section down below because I need your help. Hey! So y'all, I got the Z28 front upper grill. Um, the mesh grill, gloss black, looks super clean. However, bro, I'm having the worst Worst luck when it comes to installing this freaking grill, bro. I cannot get the OEM grill out of the bumper to save my life, bro. I really can't. I tried. I had my boy back to the money hold on to the bumper while I used the um, panel poppers to depress the plastic clip and then pull on the, the grill. Literally, bro, the bumper starts to flex with, I don't, bro, I, I don't know. I and mean, at this point, I'm fed up. I really want to have this grill on the car before Dallas. I really, really do because it's definitely going to make a difference in the front end. Um, so if you guys have changed your upper grill, please, 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 in the comment section right now or on Instagram, DM me, J-I underscore productions underscore underscore. It pops up right there. Please. DM me and let me know what you guys did to get those clips to let go because for the life of me, bro, I cannot do it. I can't. I've tried and I really want this grill on the car. Also, 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 y'all let me know down in the comment section down below, please. I'm torn. I want to go with the 6th gen conversion headlights, RGBW, of course, Flow Series, of course, Demon on all that. Um, I want to go with that conversion for my car, um, but I'm not 100% sure if I really want to do it or if I want to just go dial dynamics for the DRLs, keep lighting trends for the Flow Series and the Halo Ring and the Demon Eye. Um, I don't know. Y'all let me know down in the comment section down below what you guys think. Um, should I go ahead and make the switch? And if I do make the switch, do a giveaway with the headlights 
like I did on one of Hazel's headlights. Um, I can sign them, send them off to you. All you gotta do is pay shipping. Um, probably do like a merch giveaway with it. So like every $5 spent gets you four entries or something like that. Have it going for like a month or two and then, you know, announce the winner, random generator, all of that, the whole nine. I'm not 100% sure yet. Y'all let me know down in the comment section down below what you guys think I should do. But with all that being said, man, enjoy this quick little slideshow of Mamba right after I wash them. I'm going to see you guys in the next one. Peace. I got model